Students from John F. Kennedy High School have decided to fight for the opportunity to have a fiesta at the annual Gupa Chamorro event set to take place next month. According to Davina Artero and Abby Billen, seniors at JFK, this would be the first year without authentic Chamorro food at the cultural event. Enjoying traditional Chamorro cuisine has been a staple of the Gupa Chamorro event in years past. Now that it's their senior year, they are fighting to keep the tradition alive. Why are we going to have a, a day to celebrate Chamorro culture and we're not allowed to eat Chamorro food? It just doesn't really make sense. Sometimes we have it catered, but we have like traditional Chamorro foods catered. And sometimes we actually just barbecue. Like to this year, we were actually planning on going like all out. We wanted to roast a pig and we wanted to barbecue. And we just, we, we, when we found out we couldn't do it, we, we were really upset. The students claim that it wasn't just them, but that some school officials support them as well. We want to work with superintendent. We want him to let us like be allowed to barbecue because this is actually the first year we're not allowed to. We're just hoping that the superintendent is willing to hear us out and come to an agreement of how we can work this out. Superintendent John Fernandez said his intention is not to upset students, but that he is simply enforcing current board policies. In fact, board policy 705 states, all foods and beverages prepared and distributed for student consumption shall be procured from a United States Food and Drug Administration approved source or GPSS approved source. It also states that schools must comply with all federal and local rules and regulations regarding the preparation, distribution and storage of foods. This policy is in place to prevent mass food poisoning, a situation which has actually happened in the past. Some might recall that in 2011, almost 300 students at Guam Southern Schools were sent home or rushed to Guam Memorial Hospital following a food poisoning incident. Fernandez said he would rather enforce that policies than chance another situation like this happening in the future. Students, however, want a compromise and are circulating a petition on the matter. Reporting for Guam News Network, I'm Isa Baza.